I just would draw comics all day. That's all I ever wanted to do. I was a terrible student, even through high school, junior high school. I would work on one thing through the day. And I still have the comics I did in school when I should have been doing my work and just always assumed that I'd be doing comics. That's just all I ever was interested in doing. I used to draw a lot of just superheroes and things like that. And I, after I saw like Mad Max and the Road Warrior, I used to draw a lot of really violent. That kind of started me on the path of drawing violent comics. Just have a lot of comics that I made that were just kind of action, fantasy, violent comics. Uh, yeah, I still listen to loud, angry music, and I just always was jealous of the guys like Dave Stevens and the guys who could draw hot women. And I just, the gore, I don't know, I wasn't violent, but I just, and my violence, I don't consider it to be violent and dark. I think it's silly kind of violence. But that's the stuff I've always liked. I like the idea of doing unacceptable things, but doing them very bubblegummy. So doing like hot women and violent things, but doing it in a kind of goofy way. So out of high school, my first job was in screen printing. And I worked for a screen printer in the DC area that did a lot of like rock concert stuff. And uh, they had a contract with um, the Redskins and it was when Doug Williams, they won the Super Bowl and they did a Doug Williams t-shirt that made them a shit ton of money and so yeah and so I did a lot of Redskins stuff that's kind of how I learned like that heavy line style working uh, in screen printing the Iron Man when uh, John Romita was doing it around 126 I remember it's one of the first books I started collecting through that run with the alcoholism thing and yeah Iron Man was a big one for me when I was a kid. I remember the first book I ever had was Super Villain Team Up with Namer and Doctor Doom. I think it was Super Villain Team Up 15, maybe. Zombie Tramp, Vamp Blade, that stuff in the Mendoza universe is easy because I follow that stuff. I'm interested in that stuff. If I didn't know those guys, I'd be reading that stuff. But most of the other ones, I, I just look at the references. Like Tom from Big Dog Inc. is over there. I've done three covers for his. Penny for Your Soul, and I have honestly never read one issue of Penny for Your Soul. And Lady Death, I've done some covers, and I've known Lady Death for 20 years, and I know how she looks, and I know the uh, persona, but um, yeah, I, most of the time, I, if I have the references, uh, that's enough. And then I work directly with the person, and they can tell me where I'm right and wrong if, uh, if I need to change things. But with Zombie Tramp, I just feel, that I, I could draw her in my sleep, Janie, Bill. It's definitely an interpretation. Like, Dan, I want to be uh, true to the character, but I can't, and nobody would want me to draw Dan. It's just, his style is completely different. So it's, I like that people recognize my version with, uh, but I don't, I don't know. I just, I've tried, it took years, years to figure out where I wanted to go with the style. And I want something that's realistic but cartoonish at the same time. And I've been criticized for one way or the other being too cartoonish or too realistic. But I want something like Art Adams is my all-time favorite. He delivers something really dynamic and cool but also very cartoonish and appealing in that way. And I just kind of do what feels right for me. I don't, yeah, I don't, I, I just kind of, that's just, it, it, it's just the style I've developed. Um, I'm pretty old when computers came in there I was really resistant like oh that's uh, but the early stuff I just didn't I thought it was changing things and I didn't like the idea and now it's like there's nothing that I don't do that there's a computer involved um, and Dan does almost all his work digitally and he just feels comfortable that way but definitely use computers and learn computers which is kind of not even a thing to say now it's just gonna happen and um, and only do it because it's what you want to do. Because the odds of making money doing comics are so slim. It's There are a thousand books for every one zombie tramp that catches on. And like that's something that people know me for. And that's because I know Dan. Um, it's just, uh, and it's just, I do it because that's all I've ever wanted to do and it's all I do. And I just got lucky that somebody knows me for it. So only do it if it's what you are doing it because 
if nobody cared about it and you were still doing it in your free time just to entertain yourself because you were that passionate about it, that's why you should do it.